Nichols. So this time I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, pick lines and TPN. So what is TPN? So TPN is total parenteral nutrition. So I talked about enteral nutrition, which is this. This is enteral nutrition. Parenteral nutrition is through IVs, through your veins basically. And you can't run it through a normal IV that goes through just a regular vein, like a simple vein in your arm. It has to go through a big vein that goes near your heart because TPN is thick. It contains a lot of nutrition, it contains a lot of sugars, it contains a lot of minerals. It is just really hard on the simple veins in your arms. I mean, if you've ever had a potassium infusion, those can burn and those can really kind of damage up the little veins on your arms over time. So for TPN, they have to run it through a central line. And the central lines go through veins. The majority of time it is through the basilic vein. And that starts with a B, basilic. Um, and so that's what a pick line is. And I can get, here, I'll get a little bit closer and I'll show you guys. Kind of, I'll take the bandage off and I'll show you guys. So this is my pick line, right? It goes in here and it goes through my arm into my heart. So that, you guys got to see a little bit of how my pick line runs through. And I usually wear this brace on it because it needs to be kept really sterile. That's another thing I wanna talk a little bit about. So there's a huge risk of infections and which is why TPN is one of the last resorts in order to gain weight and get better is because um, its risk of infection is pretty high because it's plastic in your veins, it's a foreign substance in your body and any sort of bacteria in your bloodstream or in your body could um, attach to those plastic in your veins and cause an infection. I've actually had that infection before and it is called sepsis and it is no fun let me tell you it is not fun at all um, you get run a fever and you get really sick your body is fighting off a very dangerous bacteria that's in your bloodstream it's not just a normal bacteria it's in your blood and it can be really hard to kill so they usually do have to kill it with IV antibiotics. So I was in the hospital for eight days dealing with IV antibiotics. So I have to, I try to keep it extra, extra sterile. I want to talk a little bit about how a pick line is placed. So you're not put under for this and they just kind of numb the area. It's kind of like a regular IV except super sterile and over an x-ray machine or they have some sort of um, probe, a sound probe or something in order to just tell that it's in the right spot because it's important that they get it in the right spot. And um, pick lines usually don't hurt. They can be a little sore for a few days after getting placed. But for me, um, I only had one that bruised. There was only one pick line that bruised and that was because the nurse had to dilate my um, vein a little bit and it just really hurt and it just bruised my arm because my arm, I am very skinny and it just hurt. So there, that is kind of a little bit about pick lines. Pick lines are pretty simple. There's not a lot to them. Their biggest risk with them is just infection and I still am really cautious about infection when it comes to my pick lines. I am very conscious about having it covered. I have a bunch of these covers that I bought off of Etsy and I just make sure to just keep it clean and sanitary. That is pretty much it about pick lines. I hope you guys found this video interesting um, and stay tuned for some more interesting content. Thank you guys. Bye!